Now, you've probably heard of the cloud, and if you use a smartphone or a laptop, you'll almost certainly have photos, videos, music, even sensitive documents stored in said cloud. But what exactly is it? How does it work? And are your files safe and secure? Our tech expert, Trevor Long, explains. It kept slipping my mind, and then the next thing I knew, it went up. It went up to the cloud. And you can't get it down from the cloud? Nobody understands the cloud. It's a mystery. The cloud isn't just some fluffy white thing. It's a term we use to describe any computer or storage accessible via the internet. You might think your files and photos are stored up there in the sky, but they're actually in state-of-the-art data centers like this one behind me all around the world. So before we go inside, what exactly is the cloud? Back in the day, when you wanted to back up your files, you probably put them on a floppy disk or burn them onto a CD. Then, USB drives became all the rage. The risk was, though, if they were lost or damaged, you'd lose your files altogether. As internet speeds have improved, though, it's become possible to store and share data like photos and music files remotely in a huge virtual filing cabinet. And that is the cloud. It's a global network of servers around the world acting as one big connected hard drive accessible anywhere, anytime. And this is what it looks like to be inside the cloud. This huge data center operated by a company called NextDC has tens of thousands of computers in it storing your photos, your videos, your documents from a whole range of companies. And the biggest tech companies in the world like Apple and Google and Facebook use facilities like this to store your data so it's always ready when you need it. Security here is state of the art. A fingerprint scan and air locked doors are just some of the measures used to keep what's stored here safe. And as Steve Martin from Next DC explains, there's a good reason why. If you think about everything that you're doing online, whether you're banking, whether you're online shopping, listening to music, watching TV, all of those services and millions more are coming from data centres like this. All around the world. Indeed. You might remember a few years back, hundreds of sensitive images of some of the world's biggest celebrities were leaked in a massive breach of Apple's iCloud. While cybersecurity experts are divided about the exact cause of the breach, it certainly serves as a big wake-up call for us to take more care online, especially when it comes to using the cloud. The most important thing about security is we as people, because we're often the weakest link. So what does Steve recommend is best when it comes to keeping your data safe? So ensuring you have strong passwords, you don't share your passwords with anybody, including close family members. You, you take a security conscious approach to whatever you're uploading to social media and other locations. That's the best approach to, to making sure that you're protected in the future. How about that? A look inside the actual cloud. We thought we'd get his head outside of the clouds <laughs> and have Trevor join us now in the studio to explain a bit more and demonstrate it. Good morning to you. Morning. Really good backgrounder and to know that it is an actual place that exists. Yeah. So tell us how it operates because, you know, when people say let's back things up in yeah, the cloud, how does it actually so work? So firstly, most phones, and I'm going to use an iPhone here as an example. I've got my iPhone here. I can open up settings. Um, if you look at the settings in your iPhone, normally at the very top is your name and that's, that's your, your iTunes account. So yep. if I go into my account here, there's actually a setting here called iCloud. Now when we go into that, there's a whole heap of things I can choose to turn on or off as cloud backups, mm. including the whole phone. So in the, in, it says iCloud backup here. If I click on that and check that that's tick, it means my whole phone is being backed up to the cloud, which simply means it's using the internet here to send it up to the cloud, which is just a big data centre like the one you just saw me And is on. that something that we should be doing? I think so. I mean, it's, it's a safe way to keep your files, but it's also a really great way. So, for example, here, I'm going to use a, a service called Dropbox, which is external. It's not Apple or it's not Google. So Dropbox, you subscribe to. You can get a free account, but I pay a little bit of money. And this app is automatically telling me, hey, do you want to back up all your photos? But what else I can do here is this, for all these files you see here on my phone, mm. these files are not on my phone they're in the cloud. So they're sitting in one of those computers in that rack that we just saw. Mm. But I can access these on any computer. So here's some photos of my daughter playing baseball, right? So I can just flick through these photos. These, are, these photos are in the cloud. And I can flick through the photos, no problems at all. But I can also do this on my computer. Go to a computer, any computer in the world, and I can look at these photos, no dramas and at all. And then you can so just access the them when you need them. The benefit of the cloud is the photos or files or whatever they are are stored out there on the internet. 
and you can access them on any device. I'm always uh, reminded on my phone that, you know, my storage is full, I should yeah. pay X amount more to get more information to be stored. Yeah. I mean, what should you keep on there and what shouldn't you keep on yeah, there? Yeah, well, I think with that storage, uh, I guess, warning is you get rid of the stuff that you don't need there. So, for example, you might have backups of older phones, so delete those. But frankly, most of the time it's worth paying that couple of dollars to get that extra space so that all of your information, your photos, your important information is saved in the cloud. You've got a backup. You lose this, mm. you can just start all over again with a backup from the cloud. Yeah, it's good to have that, that peace of mind. And in terms of safety and security, how secure is it? Because obviously things are only as safe as the password you've got. That's spot on. So the actual cloud is very secure. As again, as you saw there, you know, these things are protected by great security. But if your password is not great, so all those celebrity hackings that have occurred, that wasn't the cloud being attacked. That was the passwords right. being breached. So if someone gets my password, they can get into my cloud. So strong passwords and, and authentication on your accounts means a strong cloud. And refreshing them and updating them Regular regularly. password updates. You know, a lot of people at work, they get an update saying change your password at work. Change all your passwords when your work password changes mm. as well. It's a good reminder to keep the passwords fresh. I hate passwords, though. I always forget them. It drives no. me mad. We'll come up with some tips for okay, you and good. I'll make that easy we'll, for we'll you. We'll do another segment on yes. that one. Good on you, Trev. Thank Cheers. you, Georgie. Yeah, I'll benefit from that as well, Deb. Don't you worry about that. Uh, Passwords. I thought, I thought that was a little bit game of Trev there to be scrolling through his camera roll on live television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know he lives what, on the edge, our Trev. I don't know what he's been up to in his private time, but that could have been a dangerous game to play. <laughs>